Good morning, good morning, good morning. Mystery Baker here, hope you're all doing well. In this video, it's going to be more of a, a guide, a beginner's guide of what equipment you will need to make your first ever Christmas cake. Now, for some of you, it won't be your first time, I understand that. But I wanted to basically reach out to those who are contemplating making a Christmas cake for the first time and possibly decorating it for the first time. So I'm just going to run through some of the pieces of equipment you will need. And there'll be equipment there that um, you think you need, but you don't. So <laughs> let's get started. So in this video, it's going to be trying to keep the cost down because, you know, you can spend as much as you want. You can spend hundreds, maybe thousands on cake making, cake decorating equipment. But uh, I haven't and uh, I still am able to bake from home and bake some delicious cakes that look good too. So if this is your first Christmas cake, this is what you may need. Now, a good bowl, a good, nice, deep bowl, okay? And I've got two different sizes. I have the medium size here, and then I've got this super, ugh, super large. It's super heavy too, <laughs> because if you're making a large Christmas cake, you probably need to use the larger bowl. But for a six to eight inch, this should be absolutely fine. So you'll need a good bowl. And I use the ceramic kind of glass bowls. Um, it's just a personal preference. And I, mine have lasted me, well, I wouldn't even like to think how long ago. And they're still with me. If you take care of them, you know, obviously if you drop them, they're gonna break. But um, invest in one at least. And uh, it'll cost you between um, 10 and 25 pounds, depending on the size, okay? But shop around in some of the, um, you know, B&M and Home Bargains and some of these stores because they have fantastic prices, fantastic. So you'll need a bowl and a sieve, okay? And that costs around two pounds. You probably can pick them up even cheaper if you look around. So it doesn't have to be expensive, okay? Now you need weighing scales. And I have a couple of weighing scales, but I thought I'd bring out my average one. <laughs> and uh, just some weighing scales. And I think this digital one cost me um, eight pound. And ideal for people who are starting to want to bake more because you'll need scales. And you can spend a hundred pound on a pair of weighing scales, but uh, I pay about eight to 12 pound. My two scales are about eight to 12. I have got a very small set of scales, but that's for measuring fondant. Um, and that was maybe eight pound as well. So you need some weighing scales, whether it be digital or um, the one that has the little dial on. Uh, they're quite lovely actually, especially if you want to decorate your kitchen with them. Um, you'll need a hand whisk. You can buy a big mixer, and I do have one. But to be honest with you, and to be realistic, if you're just baking from home for the family, or you're just setting out and you're thinking, I want to start baking more, or making my first ever Christmas cake along with Mystery Baker. Um, yeah, just a handheld mixer. You can pay as little or as much as you want. These have the little whisk to go inside. And there's a door um, implement on this one. This is uh, a K-Mix, Kenwood. But I don't even think they make them anymore. That's how old that is. <laughs> um, but you can spend as much as you want on a handheld mixer. But just buy the medium range, about £20. I wouldn't pay any more than £25 for a handheld mixer, to be fair. Because they're doing the same job, aren't they? But up to you. Spend as much as you want. I'm just trying. I'm just thinking of my subscribers that are maybe contemplating it, but maybe are on a budget. Now, also, if you're thinking of cake decorating alongside making your Christmas cake, think, do you know what? I'm gonna 
follow Mystery Baker's guidance and I'm going to make my first ever Christmas cake. But not only that, I'm going to actually decorate it with fondant. Then you may need a turntable uh, here. Now, this one was about £25, something like that. And I'm going back a long time. However, oh yeah, I'll insert some pictures here. <laughs> I went to Home Bargains at the weekend and I found a turntable, wait for it, a turntable for $2.99. Yes, that's right, $2.99. So you don't have to spend a lot. You don't have to break the bank here. This is, and it will come in useful for all of your other cake dec decorating projects. Because you never know, ladies and gentlemen, you might actually enjoy this process and start baking and decorating cakes even more. So, <laughs> next, pans. Now, I have numerous. I, I bake a, a lot. But I'm just going to show you some different sizes here. Now, I have, and I recommend, a six inch. This is great for the novice cake maker. Um, and I, for a Christmas cake, you, you need three inches deep at least three inches deep okay so a six inch is good for the novice i do have a tutorial on how to make a round six inch cake i will put the link in the description box and i have an i think this this yeah, this is an eight so again three inches it's had some wear and tear but it's so strong and sturdy it does the job an eight inch with three inches high so you can keep going, but I think for the beginner, either a six inch or an eight inch cake is probably better to start with, okay? And same with squares. So I've got six inch square, okay? Again, three inches high, okay? Sorry for making a noise. And I've got an eight inch square, okay? And this year, this year, speaking of square cakes, I'm going to be showing you not only how to make um, a six inch round Christmas cake, I'm also going to be showing you how to make an eight inch square, an eight inch square cake, okay? Because the recipe is different, the weights and measurements are different. So if you're interested, keep on tuning in and hit that bell because you'll be notified every time I upload. Now, for those of you who are wanting to move into cake decorating, yes, cake decorating, you can, you might need some cake boards. Now you can get these very flimsy ones, which are, I would say 30 pence maybe for the thin boards, just to put either a sponge cake on. It doesn't have to be a Christmas cake. And you can get the small, thin six inch and the, the three pens. And then you have the thick six inch round and here we have a 10 inch round, okay? Now, here we go again. I'll insert a picture because I've been out investigating. <laughs> I've been investigating. And if I went out, I think it was at, like, like I said, the weekend, and I went to home bargains, not for cake stuff. I just happened to see them and thought, hmm, I'm gonna take some pictures. People were looking at me as if to say, what's she doing? But <laughs> I'll insert a picture here. These cake boards, wow. Um, the cake boards were only 99 pence. And they're for 10 inch cake boards, which is perfect if you're doing an eight inch or a six inch Christmas cake. I mean, 99 pence. I mean, you can buy them online, but I think they go up. I think you're talking double, um, sometimes treble the price. So pop down to Home Bargains. And yes, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> Nobody sponsors me. <laughs> Boo hoo. Right. Okay. And also, and again, I will insert some pictures here. Home Bargains do fondant and I have used their fondant. So I can attest to the quality. They did coloured fondants, and here's some of them here. Um, yeah, and there's a Renshaw. So, for example, a Renshaw, 
which is a very good brand and I do recommend Renshaw as well and that will set you back about 250 to 3 pounds sometimes 4 pounds for a 250 gram pack which this one is where is these little beauties <laughs> I'll insert a picture um I can't remember how much they were I think they're about 75 pence each and I use these for model making or making shapes like maybe holly if I want to put holly on the cake um, and I'm using red I might put a big red Christmas bow so use these for your um, fondant models or your fondant embellishments because they are so good value and I just add some CNC Tylos powder to this fondant and it changes the consistency to more of a modelling clay. You'll also need a smoother for your fondant. Okay. And that again, I, um, I got I cut mine a long time ago. But I know you can get them from Home Bargains for about 75 pence to a pound. Ladies and gentlemen, a pound. Unbelievable. And a pizza cutter to cut the fondant off when you've rolled it over your cake so <laughs> um i oh and i'll insert a picture here of the beautiful because we're talking about embellishments some beautiful products that um home bargains are using for cakes and i'll just insert a picture here it's absolutely fantastic there's lots of um choice whether you're wanting little sprinkles etc i just think it's a great place to go if you're on a budget and because you're a novice you don't want to waste money because in case you make a mistake and so going to these stores i, don't, I mean b&m must have very similar i'm sure and i haven't been in there but i will i'll have a little look for you but this is basically what you need to make your first ever christmas cake okay and i will be just getting some of my ingredients together in the next week uh well next few days actually and i will be starting my christmas cake and as i say i'm going to be making two i'm making an eight inch square so if people are wanting to make a square cake rather than a round i'll be making an eight inch square christmas cake and the recipe ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it's just fantastic um i promise you i've had great amazing feedback from some wonderful subscribers and people who have just tried my recipe and haven't subscribed um they're all blown away by it and i thank you so much for your wonderful comments because it really does mean the world to me it, it kind of it kind of gives me the confidence to keep going and uh you know sometimes we need a little bit of confidence and a little bit of help along the way um, I haven't been doing uh, videos um, as often as I'd like and I have to apologise to everybody who's been waiting but I'm getting back into it now and I thought I'd do this little video just to show you some of the tools you, the beginner will need and as I say that turntable at uh, Home Bargains, wow, two ninety nine for a turntable, you can't knock it can you? So... <laughs> On that note, I'm going to go, I'm going to get myself a coffee and, uh, yeah, need to warm myself up today because I'm a little bit cold because I've been out in the garden <laughs> and I thought I'd just come in and do this video for you. Well, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell and you'll be notified each time I upload. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.